Alright, so today we're going to do something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to show you how to fix one of these. Texas Instrument BA2 Plus Calculator. Now most of these small calculators are kind of this, very similar in how these are done. Especially most of the Texas Instruments ones are kind of the same. And this one here, nothing. Doesn't power on. And when you first look at it, you can obviously notice there are four screws. One, two, three, four. And of course you gotta take those out. But it's not quite just that simple. There's a little bit more to it. So first though, we are going to remove those four screws. All right, so I have this handy dandy little pen type thing here that has the correct screw on here. I believe the size is a P0. It's a pretty darn small little, you know, Phillips head here. You just want to take these out. Now you need to put them somewhere you're not going to lose them. So if I have the case for it, the top for it, I like to set them in there. Because the last thing you want is to lose these little buggers. It just makes your day go by really crummy when you lose the screw of the thing you're working on. Alright, so now we have it out. And you're like, oh, this is simple. I'm just going to pop this off. What the heck? Now these things are stacked together pretty darn tight. So yes, you are going to have to pry it apart. And it is going to be kind of difficult. I usually start at this, the bottom part here. This seems to be a little bit looser. It is fairly difficult to get this. And I guarantee you, you're going to think I'm going to break this thing. But you're not. You pull apart. Ah. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit of force. This is what the insides of it look like. Pretty cool, huh? Up here is our battery compartment. It uses the same screw. Get this little tiny little guy here. Unscrew him. Now, actually, one of them you need to unscrew. The other one, really, you just need to loosen it up a little bit. And then you can just rotate this piece off to the side. And the battery will pop out really, really easy here. Let's just pop him out. Of course, I said really easy. But it's a little bit more difficult when you have this camera in front of you. You can also turn him over. When you turn him over, you're probably going to drop those two screws. So if you turn it over, make sure you know where those go. Now the battery you're going to need... Let's see if I can get this in focus. Is a CR2032. Now you can find these at pretty much any drugstore around wherever you live, whichever ones you have. But you're going to be paying two, three, four bucks for like one of them there. What I recommend is you actually go on eBay or Amazon and you can get about 20 of them for about the same price on there, usually free shipping. Now it's going to be kind of slow because a lot of times they're coming directly from China. So if you're not in a rush, go buy the big pack. Then you have them for anything you need. These are very handy batteries anyways. Now, when you put it back in, it's the part with the writing on it is going to go down. So this part is up. It goes right in that hole. Really easy peasy and simple. Now we're going to take this little screw here, put him back in. Now don't over tighten this one quite yet because it can make, sometimes it can make this one over here a little bit more difficult to get in. It's still not too bad if you do. Alright. Put this one in. You just want to get down just snug. You don't need to go all, you know, bugga duggas on these and get these down really tight. You're screwing in plastic, so just get them down snug. 
Now that's not going anywhere. That battery is not going to go. Now one thing I do always recommend is you check to see if it works before you reassemble it because it is a little difficult to pop this guy apart. So this part here can kind of flap out sometimes. So hold on to that, flip it over. And you see we now have power. So everything is good here. So let's reassemble it. Flip her back over. And these wires go up and around this post. And I do reckon you put them back like that if, if they fall out. And it's pretty simple to put this bottom piece on. You just kind of line up where the holes were. It pretty much only fits on one way. And you give it a little bit of force, crunch your back together. It probably will stay like that. Like you probably actually don't even need these screws. But I highly recommend you do put the screws back in because, well, they're there for a reason. Here we go. Screw number one. Number two. I don't think it really matters the order you put these back in. But I just have a habit of going, you know, opposite when I do screws. So that's the way I'm going to do it. screw really simple old battery you can put that in your battery recycling bin put the little cheat sheet back in here again verify it is still working it is and that is how you change the batteries on one of these Texas Instruments BA2 Plus that calculators. Hopefully that is useful. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all that lovely stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.